Hi gamers and developers and welcome to another GDT vlog. <laughs> today's vlog uh, is about the Global Game Jam and today's carnival so we're all dressed up as you can see. <laughs> so we have four teams here uh, that participated on Global Game Jam and we're gonna talk a little bit about their experience because you already seen the, the previous part of the vlog where they were actually working so now we're only doing the after experience part. So we have here uh, team four, team five, Team 6 and Team 7. Of course, this is just one member per team, so the team wasn't composed of only one person. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let, let the guys introduce themselves. Uh, we can start by Team 4. Alright, uh, hello everyone. My name is Miguel Balbut and I'm dressed as the amazing math magician from our amazing game. Very nice. Hi, Hi I'm Jean. I'm dressed as Quicksilver and <laughs> That's it. Hi, I'm Alexander. I'm dressed as Denji from Chainsaw Man, or just a butler, but uh, <laughs> it's the same. Uh, hi, um, I'm dressed as Otoro. I'm Pedro Mos, and I was one of the programmers from Team 7. Yeah, uh, and now we're going to talk a little bit about your games. Uh, well, most of these guys are already explained a little bit about their games, but still, I think you guys want to know what they did. So we can start it by Team 4. Sure, so our game was a top-down shooter, 2D shooter, uh, with two players and we basically just had to keep a lot of numbers inside a certain range for a given interval and if you did that, you won the level and then we had a series of different levels where Rooty and Tooty challenged the almighty Math Magician. A very nice game. <laughs> so we can go here for Team 5. Uh... Our game is inspired by a tower defense game like Dome Keeper and another game that I don't remember but it's from PSP. Uh, <laughs> basically you, ha you have a carrot and you have to grow it to its full potential and you do, do that by digging down, growing the roots and constructing a an army of little carrots that will fight the bunnies, the evil bunnies of course, uh, from time to time that, that are attacking the car carrots. A very delicious game. <laughs> Uh, our game was called Root Slap, so by the name you can kind of see what it, what it is. You are a root, and you can slap enemies. <laughs> so basically, you have to protect. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, you have to protect your uh, growing seed uh, that is turning into a, a full-grown plant, and your uh, objective is to protect, protect it for, from worms and uh, cockroaches. And uh, yeah, it's basically a rhythm game. Ooh. Um, we did a more managerial type game. We represent a small clan of people uh, that are trying to survive and hence the roots is trying to keep as much generations alive as possible. Very nice. All of these games were great games, so you can check it out on our Ichio page, of course. And now I want to talk a little bit about your experience during the jam. So, how was it to work presentially for you? Three guys, uh, Alshandr uh, worked online, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that too. But for you guys, how was it to work in person? I mean, it was a pretty fun experience. It was actually my first jam ever, and the first global game jam ever, and I really enjoyed it. I think the the most uh, the most important thing was that we were having fun, not only play testing but developing the game. So I enjoyed meeting people and just discussing different ideas and. Playtesting our game, yeah. Uh, this was my first time doing a in-person jam, and it really shows that in-person jams are way better than online ones. It's really <laughs> just much more more fun to see everyone working and see the prototypes building up and everything. Uh, my team wasn't uh, in Tiger Spark, so we were online, and it was uh, actually really fun, and, in, and we. Had a really good time just testing our ideas, and uh, yeah, uh, we tried to keep it simple, and we did that, and it worked pretty well. Um, this was the first time. Th uh, this wasn't my first jam. I have done for quite a few this time, but it was the first time with a, a pre-made team. And the best thing about these presidential jams, is because of their time constraints, is that everyone is working, and everyone is there for a reason and that makes the, the process, even if it's a bit stressful, really, really smooth. It's true. I agree with all of you guys. <laughs> I also participated in the Global Game Jam, but we'll talk about that later. 
So uh, one thing that these guys all have in common is that they participated uh, on Portugal. So you got to show off your games at the end. Uh, so do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we, 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 show, we, we showed our game. We played it in front of some people. And uh, I guess the thing with our game was that we really decided to have fun with a lot of concepts. For example, if you use the square root of a negative number, then the whole game would just shut down. And that was kind of a meme uh, inside joke of our game. And people really enjoyed our title, which was also really long, which was uh, Rooty and Tooty, uh, Operation Chaos and the Rogue Numbers 3. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think people enjoyed it. They saw it as a potential educational game, and I agree. Uh, but it's a, a very fun cooperative game. Yeah. yeah, the end presentation of the gem was really cool. Uh, we had a uh, we had to show show it off to everyone, and everyone seemed to enjoy it, showing off their games and seeing the reaction of everyone. Uh, we also had some feedback from three 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 people from Fun Funcom yeah. who were there also to evaluate and judge for their price, and it was really cool. Yeah, we didn't actually present uh, our <laughs> yeah. game, but yeah, just four guys in Discord sharing screen and screaming at each other because... Yeah, the, the, the punishment of yeah. being on online. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was fun uh, just test, test playing our game, and yeah, it was fun. Uh, I think it was a, a great opportunity to see each other's games. Um, the fact that we can display them in the auditorium and have the other people take a vote is always nice because you can get recognized by your game and it makes uh, sure that everyone sees it. In the end, even though uh, our game, the flip-flop gene, wasn't one of the, the most voted on, we did have some people coming to us and giving some their, their ideas and it, the, sh the sharing is the best part. Of the yeah, game jam. I agree with that definitely. I think it's the best part when people get to see your game and play it. And I think you guys back at home, of course, agree. <laughs> but yeah, so my two last questions for you uh, are regarding to the gem itself. So, what did you guys think about the theme? So, the theme was roots, like I mentioned in the first part of the video. So, theme roots, what did you think about it? And do you like having a theme on the gem? I think uh, it's it's an interesting idea, and it kind of you know narrows it down, so you don't have to think a lot about the theme a lot. Uh, and in this particular case, the theme was roots, and I think it has a lot of different meanings, which we discussed yeah. as as a team and also as different teams, uh, like rooting for someone, the square root, and roots as in a biological term. And yeah, I think it was a pretty fun turn, uh, a pretty fun team, and I think it's fun to have a specific theme. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also agree. Really, having a theme is really cool to have. Uh, it simplifies everything in, in the design process because it tells you, okay, you have to think about this, and you have to build something around this, and it ma makes it easier to work out an inter interesting idea in a short time span. Uh, and the theme route was really cool because you could go many different ways. Yeah. You could go like me, go the obvious way and think of plants. <laughs> you could think of the other teams who went in other directions and make some creative... Games, yeah, yeah. Mm. I agree. Yeah, uh, my team wasn't so... Uh, we didn't have a lot of ideas for the meaning of root. We, just, we were just like plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What can we do with a plant? I feel you, bro. <laughs> yeah, <it works. laughs> so we were like, uh, maybe a tower defense, but we were like, two days. No. Even in our game, we our game is about carrots, and we only we only realized at the end that our, the carrot it's actually a root. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was destiny. <laughs> That's why we changed the name to Care Root. Care Root. Oh. <laughs> okay. To emphasize that fact. Uh, uh, my, uh, our name for the game, I actually just uh, search um, root puns. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> first, the, um, the game was going to be called Root Punch, but uh, slapping it's a lot more fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just, nah, slap. <laughs> root slap. slap. <laughs> it's good. Uh, um, actually, our team did an exercise that I think it's very good for these type of jams, which was 
we were to think of three different themes and not share them bef uh, like we had like 10 minutes to write out some ideas and I think out of a group of five, 10 were about plants. So okay. we, <laughs> it, it was okay. And the thing was we, we actually saw some overlapping. So um, when they use these small terms like roots that can be abstract and in any other way, it's the best type of themes. Uh, instead of hyper specific ones or very conceptual mm -hmm. conceptual ones. I agree. So my last question: uh, Will you guys participate on the jam next year if it happens? Of course. Hell yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's from the wizards. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have been, I have yeah. been participating for years now, so yes. So a very fun jam, as you guys can see. So be sure to participate next year if you can. Uh, and we'll go on to the next group. So say goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs> now we have uh, the three other team uh, team members. No, the three other teams. Uh, and these three teams are all uh, international. So we uh, they participated on other countries besides uh, Portugal. So we have here Team One, uh, Andre, <laughs> which is part of my team, and I will let him introduce themselves later. And um, Team Two here, and Team Three. So. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Andre Antunes and I was in Team 1 with, uh, with Maria and other two members and we participated in London uh, Game Jam. Hello, my name is Nuno, I'm from Team 2 and we participate in Gothenburg, Sweden. Hi, I'm Gonzalo, I'm from Team 3 and we participate in Galway, Ireland. And you can see that these guys are also dressed up. Andre is also dressed up. <laughs> I think, what are you dressed up as? Here he has a mafia boss. Yes, a mafia boss, and we have here. I'm dressed up as an EP. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm dressed up as a Galt Barcelos. Yeah, <laughs> so Portuguese references. Yeah. So um, besides uh, Nuno here, the, these teams all participated in person too. So I want to ask you guys about that. So what was it like to participate in person for this gen? Mm. In our case, we didn't participate all in person. Uh, basically, me and you participated in person, yeah. and João and Yves, which are our artists, uh, participated remotely. So we, there was a bit of, of working out uh, that, that section. I think that above all, it was it was quite quite nice to have somebody in person to to, to joke about at late at night when we are making the last push for the game and very and sleepy. <laughs> and, <very sleepy. laughs> and and we had a uh, really good communication with the guys that were on this card with Joel and Yves and everything worked out uh, pretty well but I think that uh, I, I think we all agree that uh, pre presential when we are there in person it's, it's much better yeah I agree alright so my team uh, only work remotely uh, but I didn't I don't think it uh, was a bad experience uh, our schedules were a bit misplaced and didn't coincide very much, so I think it worked well for our team. Uh, I personally struggled with uh, uh, GitHub, but uh, yeah. I have <laughs> learned about that. Uh, so we, three out of our four members, could work uh, in person, and that is always good. Uh, it's like I think it's my third jam where we do stuff uh, in person, and that's always great. Um, like it allows you to every time I have doubts and stuff like that the person is right there next to me and I can go just to the person I don't have to make sure oh can I call you now send text and stuff like that yeah. it's much easier and it's much more fun yeah <laughs> it's awesome. so about our game in our case but tell us about your game okay our game uh, basically we had the idea I think it was you about the roots of, of a computer and, and we had we wanted to make a cooperative game uh, this time and when we, we thought about uh, two components basically two types of gameplay a different gameplay from one perspective and another and we basically have a team of robots that are trying to fix computers and we have a small robot that that walks around the level trying to, to do a labyrinth and, and collecting keys and and the other player controls the the map controls the computer and turns around the, the map is circular and turns around the labyrinth so the other player can progress and find the keys that he needs. Alright, so our game started with the, a, a, game, a game bug, so the being rooted <laughs> to the ground. Uh, and we made it a game mechanic, so you had to be rooted in order to reload uh, your guns and your features. It was a 3D third person shooter, so. A very complex game yeah, and for maybe two days. <laughs> too ambitious but well 
we tried. <laughs> but a nice game. So it was a nice <laughs> yeah. experience. So. Uh, yeah. So we we thought about like the different meanings of roots, and we went with cultural roots. That's why I'm dressed as a gold Parcells as a yeah. reference to our game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so our game is a platformer, um, it's a very simple platformer where you fight enemies, it, it goes in waves, and you have a, na a narrator, and basically our game we wanted to make a metaphor about someone rejecting their own roots, and what happens um, because of that, like you kind of getting rid of who you are, basically. Yeah, and I think all of these games turned out nicely, so you can also check it out on each.io, so please do. So, uh, because all of you guys participated in different countries, I'm going to ask you what was it like to present for your country in specific. So, what was it like for you to present your game in London? Mm. Uh, well, we basically presented on Discord in a, in a call. Uh, I think there were two, two calls because there were too, too, too many people for one just, just one call. And it was fun, I think. I think that, that of course, uh, presenting presentially is, is much, much easier, much better. There's better communication, better interaction. Uh, but it was cool. I think there's, there's something... I don't know how to call it. There's a, there's a nice feeling when we when we are representing yeah. your country uh, in another, and and basically you're presenting your work and, and showing off what what you did. And, and normally there are, there are cool interactions when we interact with other people from other countries. So in yeah. London it was it was cool. Uh, there wasn't a lot of, of interaction, but but in the end it was it was nice. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it was a very nice experience to present the game to other people besides Portuguese people, and we get more internationality like that. So I also enjoyed it. So, for you, you participated uh, in Copenhagen, if I'm not no, no. mistaken? In, no, in uh, Gutenberg. Gutenberg, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, what was it like for you? So, the presentation was in Zoom call. Uh, it was... Uh, there was happening uh, an event, I think, in Gutenberg. So, they were playing in a room and also have the viewers in Zoom. So, I think the interaction didn't work that well. They were nice with our game and the, with our bugs and all the yeah. things. <laughs> and it was curious to see all the all the approach to the theme and the, all the different ideas they've had. Yeah, and the, the points of view from different cultures, right? Exactly. Because that changes sometimes. So, lastly, but not least. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, talking a little bit about our experience, I think the best part that I really want to say is I, I want to give a shout out to Aiden. He was one of our extra members. So, we there were a lot of people working in sound design there and music. So, we talked with Aiden and Aiden uh, joined our team. And that was great because uh, we always have troubles getting people to make music. And Aiden made three tracks in 48 hours, which was incredible. Uh, yeah, so that, that was really good. I think the only part where the jam lacked uh, was just because it was a, a, a jam that was happening both in person and both online, and that um, a lot of themes, I think our team was the only team that was working 100% um, online, and uh, they, yeah, they gave more focus to the people that were there uh, in person, which it's normal. Uh, yeah, so I think that's the only downside, but uh, in regards to the presentation of the game, that went really well. Uh, we showed our game, uh, they uh, talked a little bit about, and then, yeah, everything went nice, so that was great. And you participated in Galloway. Galloway, yeah. yeah. Okay, so my last two questions for you guys, like I also asked the other guys previously, uh, about the theme. What did you think about the theme, and do you like having a theme on uh, Game Jams? Yeah. Uh, can we reverse now the order? Yeah, we can. <laughs> okay. You can start, sure. um, Okay, so talking uh, about the theme specifically, like Roots, I love the theme specifically because uh, roots have a lot of different meanings so that was great like we had a bunch of ideas for all the meanings and when it comes to having a theme or not uh, I like having a theme like roots where you have like a bunch of meanings that you can go uh, I don't like uh, themes that are extremely specific uh, that's not great uh, but yeah so I like having a theme because that always um, has a way to guide us I think yeah, yeah. and make sometimes more creative decisions, decisions. Yeah, yeah 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 uh, what about you, Nun? So I also agree that having a theme is a great thing. Uh, I think uh, limitations are what build creativity. And uh, as uh, Gonzalo said, uh, having a theme that was not too restrict, yeah. uh, with many connotations and ma many meanings, was a great thing. So I think Roots yeah. was an excellent theme. Finally? <laughs> yeah, I think I agree with them. The the the, the root team was was nice because it was we could 
interpreted in, in, in a lot of ways, and that's nice. Uh, but I think uh, sometimes a team, when, when a jam goes too much and we have to follow the team, we have to, to do something like that, sometimes might might give too much limitation, and sometimes we have an idea that doesn't, doesn't mm -hmm. go well with the team, but we can't apply it because we have to follow the team. So I think normally the jams that I most like is those that have a team, but it's not mandatory for us to follow the team. Yeah. So if, if we like the team and we have good ideas, we can, we can follow that, that uh, line of thought. But if we have another idea that we want to implement, we can also do, have that yeah. freedom. Yeah, that's yeah. also a nice feedback. So it's glad, I'm glad to see that you guys have different opinions because it's also very nice to see that always. So my last question for you guys. If the Global Game Jet happens next year, will you participate? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've already participated in three, and, and all, all of them were international and were pretty cool. And I think the next time I'll, I'll really want to participate here in Portugal in Love Jobs. Yeah, so. me too. Uh, so, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I will also participate next year if it happens. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, so it was my first uh, Global Game Jam, and I think I want to do it next time. Maybe uh, pr uh, present sound. Uh, yeah, provincially. Yeah. So in person. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. in person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it was also my first time, but yeah, totally. I, I'm always down for game jams. So you heard it here, guys. Global game jam rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you like this uh, vlog. This was a different one from uh, our previous ones because global game jam is so big, and we have so many teams that I we have to interview them all because you guys will want to see all of our games. So, as always, don't forget to check our social media, don't forget to check our HIO, and please keep watching our YouTube for more videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.